Hey there, it's Lacey. And I'm Eric. So we automated red and green science and we set up a mall for our belts and our inserters. So what's next? Military science. Ooh. The recipe changed to include walls instead of gun turrets. And those require bricks. So let's start by setting up half a smelting line. Why only half? When we looked at Kirk McDonald's calculator in the previous video, we learned that 30% of a red belt would be enough bricks for all of our science production. I don't want to waste a single minute placing furnaces or inserters that I'll never use. Makes sense. So now we have everything on our bus we need for gray science. This was my first time building it with a new recipe, so I didn't have a perfectly optimized blueprint, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Is it time for oil yet? We'll need it for blue science, but I'm still a bit chicken when it comes to setting up my first oil rig. So let's take a minute to collect our thoughts. I want to use trains to bring oil to my refinery. Oil requires lots of pipes, and both trains and blue science require engines. Let's automate all that first, so we don't have so many things to think about at once when we start pumping oil. I expanded the mall a little bit to include pipes, assemblers, ammunition, and steel furnaces. Engines are next. In the past, I've included engine assemblers in my blue science factory, with direct insertion into the blue science assemblers. This time, I decided to try putting them on the bus. I've seen a few people do that too. So about that oil. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, but I don't see any on the map, so it's probably pretty far away. But that's what pipes are for. Shh, shh. Let, let me procrastinate some more. Uh, I'd like to be ready for trains first, so how about a train mall? It's kind of nice how the locomotive and the fluid pumps just kind of steal engines from the output line. Yeah, I also really like how the gears and pipes can be used for so many other things in the train mall too. This is actually probably my favorite train mall I've ever built. Oh, it looks like your steel isn't keeping up though. Yup, we'll add more steel smelting and upgrade its furnaces too. Good thing we added steel furnaces to our mall. Let's also upgrade its ore supply belt to be faster. And while we're at it, we might as well place enough mining drills to cover the rest of our resource patches. More steam engines to cover our electricity needs. Oil! Okay, okay. Uh, we know we want to bring the oil home by train. So let's set up a small train network just to get us started on trains. Looks like more procrastinating to me. Okay, for real this time. Uh, I built a car to help me explore faster, and I found some oil to the east. Look at how easy it was to add the oil to our train network. It looks like all that preparation paid off. Good thing I wanted to set that up. Uh, I, th I think... I <laughs> and now it's time to move on to refining the oil. Blue science needs red circuits. So we should start with plastic. Yes, and the new recipe for blue science also requires solid fuel. That's perfect. We can't crack oil to petroleum yet, so now we have a use for it. Right. I have a favorite blueprint for creating advanced circuits, so let's get it added to our factory and get them on the bus. Okay, we have engines, solid fuel, red circuits. Building the blue science factory is actually really easy now. Nice. That looks pretty great. This was actually pretty quick. Yeah. We automated the right things early, so we never had to stand around waiting for something to finish crafting. Well, we should keep doing that. Absolutely. This is a good stopping point for now, though, so we'll have to fix things up in the next one. So thank you, Lacey, and thank you for joining us. Cheers!